Alrighty, so what I have here is another DeWalt tool. It is the half inch impact wrench, the mid range one. So this is gonna be an extremely good tool to have in my arsenal for versus videos because uh, uh, Makita makes one. I already have the Ryobi one, the mid range impact wrench. And so the in previous versus videos, the DeWalt half inch impact wrench, the, the huge one proved to be far superior. Uh, than any other uh, impact wrench that I have or impact that I have in my arsenal. So to make the competition fair, I'm going to purchase all brands of the half inch impact wrench mid-range. So it's an equal competition. It'll be close instead of the opponent being blown out of the water. So we are going to unbox this, look at the specs and test it out. And uh, this thing looks awesome. The looks of it is freaking awesome. I, I love it. And I cannot wait for uh, Ryobi to uh, come out with a brushless one for the USA. They already have one out uh, for a different country, but that is suitable for them. They're going to make one for the USA to work with the HP system and for us to have. So I can't wait for that. So let's just get to it and uh, unbox this. Alrighty, so we have here... Uh, to say the model number, uh, DCF894B, I think it is. This is on uh, the RPMs on the on low is zero to nine hundred RPMs, on high it is zero to two thousand. It is a half inch. Uh, impacts per minute is thirty one hundred. On low setting it is hundred and fifty foot pounds of torque, and on the high setting it is three hundred and thirty inch pounds of torque which that's awesome and the breakaway torque is 600 foot pounds which that's freaking amazing so let's uh let's get to it go that way this time so this is a tool only purchase and it does come with a belt clip of course instructions and warranty just like every other tool So then we get the tool itself, which this is, I felt, I held this at Home Depot. It's a hefty tool. It's seriously hefty. And this is a precision impact wrench. And of course it is the XR and it's brushless. So this thing is awesome. This thing is awesome. And I just realized I need a battery. Alrighty, so, so we have a 6 amp hour flex battery, which might as well go big during this uh, during this video because we are not going against anything. We're not going to work our way up. So, look at that. Now, oh, the speed is on the bottom. It has a LED on the bottom of the base, and it has a high and low. This is low, and this is high. What a difference now. This thing looks extremely cool. It does. It does. And you get the power that you want. Now this would take off lug nuts like nobody's business. So, but we are going what the, the test that we're gonna do in two 10-inch lag screws. Of course, these are half inch, but we are gonna put the the belt clip on because I am a huge fan of the belt clip. You know what? For easy for easy stuff like this, what I do is I use a low power drill. It's not really a drill; it's a uh, low power screwdriver. So Attack Life hooked me up with one of those. There we go. Done. Handy little tool. Now, I use this to uh, take apart tools, clean them, regrease them. And so, yeah, it's a handy little tool. But we are going to test out this bad boy right now. Now, I did have husky sockets, but they would tread metal left and right. Tack Life does not. 
And I've been using these for a while already and abusing the crap out of them. All right, and these are half inch socket bits. So we have just like that. Oh, that's, this is gonna be awesome. Do a 10 inch here. All right, we are good to go on that part. All right, so we are ready to go in three, two, one, go. And there we go. All right, we are gonna do one more right here. This thing, this thing is awesome. I love this tool, I'm glad I got it. All right, so three, two, one, go. Wait, no, we're gonna start that over. It's not, didn't go in. All right, so three, two, one, go. There we go. You can tell, you can tell that after a certain point, the impacts started to happen less because it didn't need the power. It didn't need that power, uh, the power at all. And so it, it was, this thing is amazing. I'm going to put this on low, which it is. We're going to do one on low, time it, and do one on high and time that as well. We're going to take these out. It is in reverse. I love this tool. This tool is awesome. I am so glad I got this. And it looks absolutely bad. It, it looks awesome. All right, the uh, low speed. Three, two, one, go. I actually took it out pretty fast, and that is on low. So we're gonna put the speed on high and see if high is faster. And uh, uh, the middle is precision, I think. I think the middle, I think the middle is precision. All right, so three, two, one, go. Done. Done, done. Done. Let's open that in the group, uh, the DeWalt group I'm in. Oh, this thing is amazing. I love this impact wrench. I love it. I do recommend to get one. Now, the model number for this is DCF894. And this thing is awesome. This thing is awesome. So, yeah. Like I said, like, so as you can see here, I abuse the crap out of these sockets. Tac Life actually makes extremely good uh, impact rated socket bits. So I do this, this is all I do. Like when it comes to these videos right now. So these sockets uh, sockets last me a long time. So so it's good, it's good. I'll put the link for this so for both of the Tac Life socket bits and the imp uh, half inch impact wrench uh, in the description below. And yeah, this thing is awesome. What a I'm so glad I got this tool. I love it. Well, what's the battery life on that? Uh, two bars left. That might go back to three uh, once this cools off. It's not It's not uh, warm by any means, but it might go back to three bars. Temperature of this, 52 degrees, 54, 50, 56 degrees. Not bad. It's not even remotely warm. So I'm so glad I got this. It is going to be put up on the pegboard. Actually, let's do that really quick. All right, so that's good right there. But there we go. That is my DeWalt section. Now, once I acquire more tools, I'm going to take the bag down and then rearrange it. But for now, 
that is pretty much that. I do want to get the bigger version of the half inch impact wrench and a few other tools as well. But for now, I think this is good. It's, uh, I'm, uh, I'm acquiring the tools and it's going to be a fun ride from here on out. What you saw today is what it's pretty much going to be versus a lot of other stuff. I got uh, Tech Life, Rigid, Milwaukee, I'm getting M Makita, Craftsman, uh, I got Ryobi, uh, I got uh, other stuff coming. You know, it's going to be it's going to be good, but that's pretty much it. So this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.